Greetings fellow Earthlings and welcome to EIC Outrage. My name is Azim Banatwala. Now roses are red, violets are blue, and life really sucks if you support Man U. For the past three years, it's kind of sucked to be a United fan. And the reason it sucks these days is... I have a philosophy. My philosophy. The philosophy. That philosophy. Our philosophy. The philosophy. Listen, it's not a philosophy, it's a philosophy. It's a fuckerlosophy. It's downright infuriating to watch Manchester United play. And United fans are starting to get a little bit pissed off. On the surface, United aren't doing that badly this season. And part of that is down to their rivals. Brendan Rodgers was sacked from Liverpool for being, well, Brendan Rodgers want to have sex with Joe Allen. And Jose Mourinho is having a midlife crisis. I have nothing, nothing to say. Nothing to say about the game nothing, at all? Nothing, I have nothing to say. There is a campaign against Chelsea. The referees, they are fuck all. Media is fuck all. Players, they are fuck all. Mikel, go park the bus. But we don't care about that. Like, somehow, Manchester United are still just a couple of points off the lead and nobody knows how because the football we play is shit. It's the same pattern. Carrick passes to Schweinsteiger. Who passes it back to Carrick? Who passes to Jones? Who passes to Smalling? Who passes back to De Gea? Who clears it to Fellaini? Then Fellaini controls it with his afro, passes it to Valencia who has a brain freeze uh, and cuts inside because God forbid he uses left foot. Then Rooney takes a shot, Miss kicks it to Memphis, who kicks the ball from Old Trafford to Anfield. Then Ander Herrera goes to school, Marcos Rojo commits suicide and we draw nil-nil at home to Middlesbrough. And then Van Hal says, You can say it is unlucky. It's the same pattern every single game. And the reason for this, once again, My philosophy. The philosophy. The philosophy. What is your philosophy? To be fuck all? Because if it is, it's working. We have no reliable strikers, aside from Anthony Martial, our lovable new teenage sensation, who always looks like he's just slept with your girlfriend. And Martial, a centre forward, is now being played on the wing. Why do we do this to all our best players? Martial, out wide. Mata, out wide. Kagawa, out wide. Yanazai, out wide. Bebe? Okay, never mind. All of this to accommodate the root of all our problems. Wayne Rooney. Wayne Rooney, often likened to Shrek, is finally living up to that bill because these days he has the footballing skills of an ogre. Settle. Here we go, here we go. Oh! Oh, what a touch. He has no first touch, he can't finish, no pace. Listen, Sergio Romero has more of a goal threat than he does. Sergio Romero, the only man out so far, he would be employed keeping them out tonight. <clears throat> Get them out of the way now, Sergio. Now, I don't have any credentials as a football manager, apart from the 500 hours I've spent playing football manager. But I know that if you keep out your best players to make space for your worst player, you're never going to win. Listen, Manchester United is known for attacking football. The only thing you're attacking is the brains of your fans. Get it together. Start playing real football. Don't pass sideways. Go forward. Run at your defenders. Put some quality in the box. That's what she said. And if you don't, eventually we'll do what Chelsea fans do when their team isn't winning. Start supporting Man City. I don't want to see you tomorrow. Bye. And that is my philosophy for today. If you enjoyed this video, please subscribe to the East India Comedy Philosophy channel for more philosophy on YouTube. And if you are a philosopher on Facebook, please philosophize by liking our philosophy Facebook page.